This is it elementary OS, one of the most popular and cool Linux distro, it looks similar to Mac OS in the terms of concept, the performance is fast and most app run faster than the other Linux distros. First, download the elementary OS, click the download link below in the video description. Scroll down, input 0 in the custom column, but if you have money, please buy it to support the developer. Click download elementary OS button. Click download. Wait the download. Now we're going to download Ventoe, an app for creating elementary OS USB drive bootable. Click the download link below in the video description. Click download. Click Ventoe Windows.zip file. Scroll down. Click Ventoe Windows.zip file. Wait the download. We're going to make elementary OS bootable for the installation. But before that, we need to check what partition style is used in our hard drive or SSD. There are usually MBR or GPT partition style. Open Start Menu. Type Disk MGR. Select this result. Right click on the disk 0. Click Properties. Click Tab Volumes. Look at the partition style line, so this hard drive or SSD is using GPT partition style, take a note. Now prepare an empty flash drive, the size is at least 4GB. Insert the flash drive and open File Explorer. Look for the downloaded files. Right click Ventoe file and choose Extract All. And choose Extract. Click the extracted folder. Run the Ventoe 2 disk program. Click Run. For the device, select the inserted flash drive. See the text shows MBR partition style, we need to change it, click option menu and select partition style, select GPT according to previous step. Click install. Click yes. And yes. Ok it is done. Now close the app. Copy the elementary OS file. Look for the flash drive says Ventoe. Paste the elementary OS file here. Wait the process. Now we are going to make a partition. It is for storing another operating system's file. It can be taken from local disk C or the others as long as there are free space available. Open Start Menu. Type DiscamGR. Click on this result. We are going to take a space from local disk C. Right click on the disk, and choose Shrink Volume. Determine how much of the partition size you desired. Then multiply with 1024, and input the result in the column. For example, we're going to make an 80 gigabyte partition. An 80 multiplied by 1024, the result will be 81,920 megabytes. Now input the result here. Click the shrink button. The partition has created. Right click on the partition and choose new simple volume. Click next. Click next. Next again. Next. Finish. Now it's already done. While in this menu, now let's make a partition for boot files. Right click the local disk C, choose shrink volume. Type 512 megabyte into the column. 
click Shrink. Right click on the partition. Choose New Simple Volume, click Next, Next, Next. Rename the volume label into Boot. Next. And finish. Now shut down the computer. Now we need to get into BIOS or UEFI settings menu, turn the computer, then press F2 or ESC repeatedly depends on your computer brand. After get inside the BIOS, find secure boot option and disable it. Now select the flash drive name through boot manager, or make it as the first at boot priority order, so we can boot the computer from the elementary OS bootable. After that, this menu will show, press enter, press enter again, and enter. If success, we will go into elementary OS installation menu. Keep pressing select button until come into try or install menu. Here, click custom install option. Look for a partition which the size is around 500 megabytes, for example, the partition is in dev slash sda4, then we hover the cursor on this colored bars, so we can select which is the correct partition. Click the correct partition, click use partition. Change the use as column, from root into boot fe. Now look for the another partition we've created before, for me it is 80 gigabytes, here it is, it's in dev slash sda5. Same as before, click it and use partition, also click format. Change the use as, into root, then the file system as ext4, make sure everything is correct, now click erase and install button. The installation has begun, wait the process. It shows like this if the installation is done, now click shutdown button. Turn on the computer. Now you should see this menu. If not show and just went into Windows, then follow this steps. Go into BIOS settings menu, look for an option called, select an UEFI file as trusted for executing, or something similar. So from this option, we can select elementary OS bootloader file inside the boot partition. Hit enter to get inside, find Ubuntu folder. Select shimk64.fe file, and press enter. Type EOS for the name. Now, make the file as the first or top in the boot priority order, so when the computer is turned on, it will load the elementary OS bootloader. See, the file is already at the top, or the first in boot priority list, now save the configurations, and exit from BIOS menu. After rebooted, this menu will show, press enter to boot into elementary OS. This is the first setup menu for elementary OS, just follow the menu, fill the name, username, and password, then press finish setup button. Type the username password. Congratulations, elementary OS is finally installed.